Hello everybody and welcome to a Let's Play Sid Meier's Pirates. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite games of all time, um, along with Mountain Blade and, and others, but uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely a classic. It's a, it's a really good game. I mean, it's, what, 2004? And it's still a good game. So essentially what I'm going to do is, um, experience, I'm going to start out, well, you know what, let's start out at Apprentice, we can change it later, um, just so we can progress throughout the entire game, you know, like I was meant to, um, skill, obviously I'll go with Fentner, obviously, um, I'll go with Fencing, just because that's the way to go, and start date, I am going to leave at the Buccaneer Heroes, because this is where you get the most, uh, most islands, most everything here, so, so we'll continue as is on that. Um, what we're gonna do is sign with the English, um, Dutch are okay, Spanish are a little too easy, French, I mean they're French, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> so we'll sign with the English. And let's see where we're starting. The first thing we're going to do is talk to the governor, obviously. I'm going to try and keep these videos around half an hour long, just because I will see how that goes, obviously, but... All right. Yeah, fair enough. So, okay, I did not read anything he just told me, so I might actually have to look at my um my missions. Okay. All right, cool. I can do that. Get us some gold. What's this guy selling? No thanks. I can't afford that right now. Okay, so the governor of St. Kitt's Daughter is apparently really pretty, so... <laughs> um... Let's see. What do we have? We have a sloop. We have nothing here. Who's at war with whom? British with the Spanish, and British with the Dutch. Okay. Makes sense. World map. No treasure maps, obviously. Top ten pirates. Who's Henry Morgan is number one, huh? Interesting. And obviously I'm number 10 because I haven't done anything yet, so... Alright. Oh, let's sail away. Oh, let's go get that guy. Let's go get that guy. Because why not, right? Let's see if we can... Oh, I attacked the wrong ship. Damn it. Wow! Way to go, Yusi. That's a good way to start. Holy crap. I attacked a British ship. I do not want to attack British ships. I want to attack... I wanted to attack the French ship. I think I was too far away from it. Damn it. Uh, let's see if we can run away quickly enough. Or long enough to get away from him. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to sink him and deal with it. Oh, damn, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. There we go. Okay. This is what I meant to do. The French. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. So, if any of you, those of you who have played Sid Meier's Pirates before know the best and quickest way to take a ship is just to board it. Which, I mean, granted it sucks, but again, it's, it, you know, the game's from 2004, 2005, so, I mean, I can't really, can't really hate on it too much, um, so, granted, you'll see me boarding most things. Um, also, also the fencing isn't exactly very hard, you just use one move throughout the whole time, and, and, we pretty much guaranteed to win most engagements anyways, so. But, um... Oh good, we get more sailors. Yeah, we're gonna keep her. Take all and keep her, um... But yeah, I mean, it's... You know, what can you expect from a game from 2004, 2005, whenever the hell it was? That's, I think this is the guy we have to kill. 
if I'm not mistaken. And of course we're sailing against the wind because the wind in this game always blows from east to west and we are sailing against the wind and he might actually get away from us. I don't think I'll be able to catch him. If I am, it's going to take us quite a while to catch up to him. Uh, I should have gone in a different angle. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get out of here. Let's go in a different... Uh, maybe he's coming back around. Nope. Come on, bro. Come back around. Alright, let's get out of here and then we can... Oh, we lost him, didn't we? Damn it. Mm, I don't like that. I do not like that at all, but you know, that's okay. What is this? This is a Dutch West Indiaman. Let's go get him, shall we? And let's make sure we attack him from the right side. So that we don't... Uh, we're not sailing against the wind. Now, actually, you know what? One thing I didn't do... Whoops. Uh, where's the map here? One thing I didn't do is show you guys the world map where we started. So we started at St. Kitts. Um... Sometimes you start at Port Royal, playing as the British. We did start at St. Kitts, so, which is better, because that gives us more opportunity to engage with the Dutch, with the Spanish, with the French, so on and forth, so forth. Port Royal, there's, it's kind of, kind of takes a while to sail from one place to another, so. So I'm actually not complaining where we started. Alright, let's get this guy. And again, I'm just going to go for the board. I think, um, just because it's easier, especially starting out, it's so much easier just to go for the boarding, as opposed to actually dueling it out, you know? Especially, again, with, with the earlier battles and stuff, with the with the lesser ships and whatnot, it's, it's just, I mean, I, I screwed up there twice, obviously, but, I mean, it, that's all it takes, just chop, 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 and, and you're pretty much done. <laughs> Um, I, it's not the combat for this game for me, it's just like the, uh, the overall experience and, and even, you know, I'm gonna call it empire building because you can create your own, like, pirate nation and, and your own, uh, you, you know, your, your own, you can have your own cities and everything else, so that, that's, that's probably what it is for me. Um, you know, same as was with, uh, Mountain Blade. I haven't played the new one yet, but uh, I do plan on it, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, Warband is is by far again another one of those games that's like top of my list, along with this. Um, again, given that this is you know 2004, 2005, and the fact that nothing, nothing since has come out that can actually compare to this or or do better. It's just completely amazing to me. There we go, we got another ship. So all I'm doing right now is just kind of building up my gold and, and building up the kind of, you know, all, all the ships that I, I take. And so what we're going to do now... Uh, Spanish governor or San Juan may be inclined to give you a promotion next time you're in... Yeah, no thank you. I don't care about the Spanish right now. Let's just work on the British. And actually, we're going to sail away from here. We're going to go to St. Kitts. What is this? Captain, the merchant will offer a good price for those goods. Oh, okay. Uh, merchant doesn't have very much gold, though. But okay, here you go. Take all my goods. Oh, I guess he's got enough to buy all of my goods. Anyways. Sell the sugar, too. I mean, I don't need this for anything. Okay. Now we can sail away, and I want to go to St. Kitts to get my promotions, because apparently their daughter's really hot, so... <laughs> so we'll see. Let's talk to the governor. Uh, 
Oh, that's right, we're not at war with the French. Oh, man. That French ship I took. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, huh? Headed for a kumana with a fortune in gold bullion. Yeah, I will note that in my log, although we're probably not going to do it, because if I had to guess, I'd say kumana's very far away, so... Did we take anything worth taking? No. Well, that sucked. I was hoping we actually took something worth taking, but I guess not. Alright, this guy. Is this guy part of the quest again? Yeah, Dutch smuggler, maybe. Let's hit him on the right this time, shall we? There we go. I should be able to catch him no problem. Let's give him a couple of, uh... Oh, great. I should be able to catch him up. Yeah, alright, we got him. I think this is the quest one that respawned. Hopefully. Oh! He landed a hit on me, go figure. And easy as that. Again, the especially the starter ones, I mean, they're all fairly easy to, to get going with, at least. Of course we're gonna keep her. Alright. There we go, that was... That was indeed the quest one. Excellent. What is that? Another Indian? Right, let's go talk to the governor. Yeah, okay, good. Get promoted. So, really, um, you guys might think I'm rushing through the, uh, like all the starter stuff on here. Um, my biggest thing in this is just kind of to do my own thing and, and to, to enjoy the open world of it, so it takes a while until you can do that. Um, so that's why I kind of rush through these opening stages of the game so that I can, like, you know, take my own cities and so on and so forth and, and go from there, so... So yeah, I will be rushing through a lot of the beginning content just, just to get to that point. But anyways, Bart Roberts, the 8th most notorious pirate in Caribbean, sails out of the pirate haven Mad Dick's Bones near the city of Margarita. He's known to carry over 1,400 gold doublins. Okay, we can do that. Oh, no we can't. That's far. Alright, fine. Let's go get him. Uh, let me consult with the shipwright first. See if I can get rid of some of this cargo. Way more guns than we need to. For now, at least. Alright, let me see. Is this enough? Nope, 16 more tons. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to be towing that ship along with us, because I don't want to get rid of that food. Especially since we're going a little further away this time. I've earned your first fame point. You collect points for... Oh, wow, this is... This is... I don't remember these, like, pop-up messages and stuff. Um, but I just realized that we're playing on... On the very beginning apprentice level, and that might be why we're getting them? I don't know. Anyways, where the hell are we going? We are going... I am here. We are going to Margarita. So we have to sail a little... Uh, a little bit more southwest than we are. There we go. It's, um, the good thing is, obviously, the wind picks up once you go out into, into open sea. Yeah, set course for Margarita. There you go. Yeah, this is, this, I don't remember, like, these little, like, helpful, like, things that pop up. 
And that must be just the difficulty level we're playing at. Are we here? Yeah, we're here. Alright, let's go see if we can find this guy. Because that's where he's sailing out of, right? Where's my quest? Is that what I'm looking for? No, what am I looking for? God, it's been a while. Maybe this is it? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Nope. They did say Margarita, right? Why the hell does it tell me that information now that I'm... I think they said margaritas, so we're just gonna chill around here. Well, let's go into the, um, we haven't sunk any Spanish yet, so let's go into the tavern and see if we can find anything out. How you doing? Oh no, he's... Uh, okay, Mad Dick's Bones, that's right. Alright, hold on. Spanish women look much better than any of the other ones, but other than that, they're just too easy to play. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Mag Mad Dick Bones, or Mad Dick's Bones, or whatever. Well, YouTube's probably gonna, like, shut me down for swearing on here. Alright, where are you? Where are you, buddy? There he is. Oh, that's Pirate Raiders, but you know what? Fuck it, let's, let's do it. Let's go get him. Oh, that's right. Against the wind, of course. That's okay. I mean, I just want to get in... I just want to get in boarding range anyways, as d as do they, so... It's just, um... I guess that's one thing that I wish was a little harder in this game. Is the dueling. Um, again. 2004, 2005, whenever this came out, and I'm still playing it, so I'm not talking crap at all. Um... It just gets very repetitive after a while, you know? Alright, 30 sailors, yes, take all. We are going to keep her, keep the ship, because I feel like that's one... Oh, there he is, there is Bart Roberts. I don't want him to get... Oh, damn it, he got away. Nope, there he is. Attack, damn it, attack. There he is. Alright, let's go get him. Let's go get him, let's make some gold, and then we'll head back to, uh, St. Martin or St. Kitts, wherever the hell we're from. And, uh, we'll call it an episode at that. And you can use either slash or thrust or chop in this. It really makes no difference. Um, I use chop just because it's easier to click. <laughs> um, you know, you can use whichever it makes no difference. Just gotta make sure you take the fencing, um, fencing ability at the beginning of the game. All right, take all, oh, keep her. Yes, all right. Yeah, from Martinique, Dutch government crock. Ah, oh, no thanks. No thanks. I am very um. I am very much a, uh, a sort of loyalist when I play this game. Is I want nothing to do with the Spanish, the French, or the Dutch. I just stick to the British, and I help them out as much as I can. Um, so I don't really want rank from anybody from Martinique or. But Martinique is what France? Yeah, France. Nah, screw that. Nah, I don't want a promotion from the frogs. No thanks. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm very much a, uh, very much a, a loyalist. Oh, Spanish Raider, that's a big ship. Let's see if I can take that asshole out. If I can catch up with him. Can I catch up with him? Where's he going? Oh, he's raiding the French town. Uh, maybe I can catch up with him? That'd be a nice ship to get. Let's see. Although, are we at war with the Spanish? I think we are. It's a galleon, too. 
So any sailing against the wind, so we should be able to board him quite quickly. Hopefully, before he gets a salvo or three off on... Oh! Stop with my sails, bruh. My sails did nothing to you. Alright, let's... Funny if we lost. Well, that was close. I mean, it really wasn't. But again, the uh, the dueling in this game—that is that is one thing I wish that, that they would uh, improve on, I guess. But I mean, it's okay. It's not. It's not terrible. But yeah. Welcome aboard. Of course, take all and keep her. And now. We can head back to St. Kitts. Or St. Martin? No, St. Kitts. Yeah, St. Kitts. Right? Right. Wherever the hell we're from. Yeah, St. Kitts. There we go. Get rid of some of these ships. See what we are going to keep. And then go from there. Alright, let's talk to the governor first. Of course, of course. Oh, I got an estate, which means nothing. Which you'd think would I like make you some passive income or something, but no, it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, other than like, other than um, accomplishments at the end of the game. All right, let's see. Let's keep 40 guns. Let's get rid of some of this food. Let's see what ships we have to keep. Uh, merchant man, no. We'll keep her the fast galleon. Ah, oh, do I want to keep the brigantine instead? Hmm. Okay, I guess we're keeping. Oh, I can get rid of this. That's right. And I'm going to use the Saint Nicholas as my flagship. Um, what I want you guys to tell me is what you'd like me to rename the flagship to for uh, for the next couple of episodes. Until we find something better, obviously. Um, so let me know down below what we should be renaming her. Um, anyways, I think... Might as well. Do all the upgrades. Um, I think think i think we're done so anyways um thank you for watching leave your comments down below and see you in episode two